Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rakakwadash, double honor unto the apostles, the elders of great millstone that rule well and that taught us this truth. Salutations to the sincere Achim out there that are helping to wake up the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, that are around the four corners of the earth. You know, we are the Hebrew Israelites, and the Bible is our book, man. This is not a so called white man's book. You know, this is the book of the Hebrew Israelites, man, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, again. Because a lot of people, they, you know, they think that it is a so-called white man's book, but they couldn't be uh, further away from the truth, man. The so-called white man, he casts the Bible behind him. He's playing games, man. He's uh, Esau, Edom, and he is the one that is bringing all this wickedness in the earth, man, because he's the one that is ruling right now. But his time is running out, and the Lord is coming back, man. So um, I wanted to jump into a few things because, you know, these devils, they claim, you know, that you need to follow your heart and, uh, you know, uh, listen to your heart, bring out all types of songs. But that's not a wise thing to do according to the scriptures, man, you know. And a lot of Christians, they run with that as well. Let me go through a few scriptures, you know, that... Uh, show you that you should not, you know, trust in your in, on your own ways, basically, man. You know that's 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 not wise, man. We need to change through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai to become a better man or a better woman. You know, for the few sincere sisters out there. So we need to let go of our wicked ways to become better. And if we are so called perfect. Why do we need to go into the scriptures then? Why is it, you know, it doesn't make no sense if you need to follow your own heart and your heart goes back to love, which means your mind. So if you trust in your own mind, you're a fool according to the scriptures, man. And I'm going to go into that in a minute. Uh, this is Proverbs 3, verse, uh, let me see, let me start at 5. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh, with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. You see? Lean not unto you, uh, uh, on your own understanding, man. We are the Lord is our rock, man, our foundation. What can what you know? If you trust in man, curse is the man that trusts that trusts in man, right? That's the scriptures say, man. That makes that makes uh, that make it flesh his arm. That shows you that you know man can do only but a certain thing in this uh, in this earth. But salvation comes of the Heavenly Father. Wisdom comes of the Heavenly Father. True wisdom comes of the Heavenly Father, man. So we need to trust in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai because salvation comes through the Son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai. So through Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, we get uh, salvation, man. So, you see, heart, love, you know, the inner man, mind, will, heart, understanding. You know, heart, moral character, the seat of emotions and passions. In the Hebrew is love. But um, to go back, an own understanding, you know, discernment. Of course, through the spirit, you get, uh, you know, uh, the gift of discerning, you know, to to scope people out, you know, to mark them. You know, as the scriptures say, scope, uh, to scope them out. And you can... Get that, uh, you can perfect that gift through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai to see trouble before time, you know, beforehand. You know, that's something else. But to really lean upon your own understanding, like uh, an Edomite would do on his science, falsely so called, that's uh, that's wickedness, man. That's nonsense. Because then you're saying that, oh, I know it better than the most I, which is a stupid thing to say, man, you know. Because the most high's wisdom, you know, is, let me jump into that as well. And let me go first in the word lean. And it goes into to lean on, trust in. So don't trust in your own heart. Le don't lean upon your own understanding. Don't lean upon your, your own inner thoughts. And, you know, to the spirit, as becoming a new man, you will know to the spirit, you know, to, to do the right thing. But again, there's a difference between a man can make a mistake. That's true. We have this, you know, we are in this sinful flesh. But 
if you like comparing it with what these devils are doing, totally leaning upon their own understanding, oh, I know it better, you know? I'm going to do it my way. GMO food. Look at what GMOs bring, man. Cancer. Man with man. You know, I will bring my laws into uh, into play right now. Man with man. You know, uh, women, uh, female with female. It brings death and destruction and demons, man. More demons to, uh, you know, jump upon people, man. We need to trust in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. So... Here, uh, lean goes into a, a trust in support, to lean, lean upon, support oneself. And it goes also, you know, in certain words, to trust in uh, uh, the Heavenly Father. We need to lean upon uh, the Heavenly Father, man. Let me see. Uh, and let me just uh, go back. So, verse... Um, Six, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. So we, through uh, trusting in Yahweh Basham Yahushai, he will, uh, you know, uh, um, direct your, your, your path. Because that is what the Heavenly Father is doing. He already, this is his movie, man. He knows what's going to happen. And if you trust in, in the Heavenly Father, you know, he will protect you. So, go to the word acknowledge. It goes into uh, to know, to learn to know, to perceive and see, uh, to recognize, admit, acknowledge. You know, you know, to, you need to admit and recognize that the, the Most High's mind is far greater than the mind of anyone on this earth, man. Uh, to be made known, to be uh, be or become known, be revealed, because wisdom. If you walk with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, in the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, he will reveal things unto you. Like in the book of Isaiah, you know, before things sprang forth, you know, the Most High, he uh, makes it known unto you, man. The Most High reveals his secrets unto his servants and prophets. So they get the inside info. So they are the first ones to get the information so they can put it out to warn the rest of the people. You know, because the Most High knows what's going, uh, going to happen. You know, every second of the day, man. It be sure of surety, teach. So here it goes on to uh, mark, be learned, you know. Uh, acquainted, but yeah, comprehend, consider, declare. So acknowledge him. And... Um, in all thy way, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, depart from evil. You know, so it shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bone. Yeah, man. So let me see, because there's another uh, precept in uh, Proverbs. What was it? Six. Let me see, where was it? Let me for a moment. Let me go back. Let me see if I can get the precept here, or else I'm going to jump to another that I had in mind. Because, uh, let me see. Um, this one, or just 16, could also be that one. Let me just check if it pops up here, or else I'm going to keep it moving. Here yeah, in Proverbs 16 and 9, a man's heart devised his way, but the Lord directed his steps. You know, might think about something, but the Lord is the one that uh, is directing your steps, man. You know? So, but there's another one. Let me see. Yeah, another one. Beautiful. Um, the Psalm 37 and 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his way. And another one. Because you have these devils that do the opposite, and the most I ain't, you know, he ain't down with them, man. He's going to, uh, you know, destroy these, uh, 
these devils, man. This is the one that I want. The one that I will buy Shamiyah Shai. This is Proverbs 20, verse um, uh, 24. Man's goings are of the Lord Yahweh. How can a man there uh, then understand his own way? You know, so the Most High, he already knows what's going going to happen, man. You know, it's all of Yahweh by Sham Shai. Let me jump to Jeremiah 17, verse uh, 7. Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord Yahweh by Sham Shai. Yahweh by Sham Shai. And whose hope the Lord is, you know, for he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spread it out her roots by the river and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. So, you know, you're going to be well nourished, man. A, a tree planted by the water is always well nourished, man, you know. But if you trust in your own heart, this is what the scriptures say, verse 9, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? You see? So it's not wise to trust in your own heart, man. It's deceitful above all things. Sly, insidious, deceitful, sly, insidious, slippery. You know, you don't know what's going on, man. Your mind can play tricks on you, man. Demon can jump on you. Thinking it's you, you hear your own voice, but it's a demon whispering in your ears, you know, fraudulent, crooked, deceitful, polluted, you know, it's polluted, man, because this body is polluted, man, and desperately wicked, to be weak, sick, frail, you know, desperately wicked, woeful, you know, a lot of... Wicked thoughts can jump into your mind, man. You need to fight against it. You get a lot of demons trying to make you uh, stumble and fall, man. But you need to rebuke uh, Satan and these, you know, these these spirits, man. You need to rebuke them, man. Rebuke Satan in the name of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So, Proverbs 28. And what was it? Verse 26, he that trusted in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walketh wisely, shall, he shall be delivered. You see? So if you trust in your own heart, you, you liken it to a fool, man. It's foolish to do that. Because your mind can play tricks on you, man. Even like, like the song with, you know, of Jake, man. You know, back in the days, man. But yeah, man, that's basically, um, I wanted to go to a few things. Let me see if there's something more. You know, it might be a little bit more left and right, also in the book of uh, Sarah. You know, it's good to trust in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man, and not to lean upon your own understanding, you know. So with that, hope you're edified in Yahweh Desire to the next video. Shalom.